वेलकम गाइस इन आवर टैलेंट ओपन स्टूडियो इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू यूज लुकअप फीचर इन टैलेंट ओपन स्टूडियो लुकअप फीचर इज वेरी यूजफुल इफ यू वांट टू चेक इफ डेटा इज एग्जिस्ट और नॉट इन योर डेस्टिनेशन टेबल और डेस्टिनेशन डेटाबेस सो दिस फीचर कम्स इन द पिक्चर ऑन द प्रोसेसिंग फाइल सो गाइज यू कैन सी I have already some files, so we are going to use some delimited file, that means CSV file. So I have input file that is sales, which I am going to use in this tutorial. So you can see this uh, file containing three columns: sales person ID, sales year, and total sales, having around fifteen uh, rows. And I want to load this data into my destination table. So I am going to back my destination table, and in the output folder, you can see I have the same file that is sales. And if I am going to open this file, guys, you can see this file containing three columns: sales person ID, sales year, and total sales, having four records. So I want to process my input file to my destination file, and in this way, I am going to check if the record is exist. That means it should be updated. If it is new, then it should be inserted. So guys, I have already a file delimited to make a connection my input file. So I am just going to. Drag and drop it on my job, and using T file or input delimited as a component. Now, if you want to see the data in this file, then you can see. Yeah, this is the schema of the data. That is metadata. Now, I want to see the data in this file, so I am going to T log row. T log row component is very useful if you want to see the runtime data. Definitely, it is going to be very useful to you. So I am just going to check edit schema now, guys. You can see T log row uh, in, uh, that is uh, sales input and T log output having the same schema. So guys, I am just check the table. And uh, going to run this job. Now you can see the data in this uh, file. This is the data which is coming from the source file. Now I want to create a connection to connect my output file. So I am going to use the input, the file input. Delimited. So for this file, what I'm going to do here, just wait. Okay. What I'm going to do here, I'm just double click on it and choose the file from the output. And uh, sorry. And this is the file in sales, and that is my output file. Okay. And uh, you can see the schema as well. Uh, so I'm going to choose the rebuild schema, and that is my sales. Okay. And now edit the schema. Okay. Now I'm going to change the path as well. Okay. And that is output. Okay. Now you can see. Okay, okay. Now I want to see the data in this file as well. So I am going to use T log row. Okay, and connect my yeah and T T log. I am going to use table mode and run this job again. Now, guys, you can see this is the data which is coming from the output file T log two, and this is the data which is coming from the my actual input file. So now, 
uh, now we have input as well output data so i want to check if it is available in my output output data if it is it is available in the output data definitely we are going to update it if, if it is not available then we are going to insert it so guys we are going to use tmap feature tmap uh, component is a processing component which is very helpful and used in the processing board so first of all i want to connect uh, my tlog row sorry tlog to my tmap and then what i'm going to do here i'm just connecting my tlog to tmap1 okay now click on tmap now guys you can see yeah this is the data just i'm just going to yeah okay now you can see so first of all i need uh, need a need to set up the keys so i am just going to call them to uh, sales person to my sales person and uh, my sales year to my sales year okay now if you can see here there is a load once unique match and left after join so we are guys we are going to use inner join okay now i i want to add a new uh, data metadata uh, call it match or updated updated okay now what i am going to do here i am just passing sales person id sales year and now you can see now i need to add new data metadata or data set that is inserted and here what i am going to call sales person and sales year uh, that is sales year and total sales so in inserted what i am going to do here i am going to check in the mapping that is you can see the property catch output rejected catch lookup in a join so i am going to tell this as a true okay now i did all the settings in my tmap processing component and click on apply button and click on okay now i want to see the output so guys i am going to use t log row okay now if i am going to connect my t map to t log it will ask you updated so in updated i check it now i need to add another t log row component and connect my t map to and choose inserted okay now i am just going to this and going to do this now i am going to choose t map as a table mode t3 that is updated and t4 that is inserted and guys my job is ready i am going to run this job now okay now you can see this is a t log row and that is the inserted that means 11 rows from the 15 rows is new and 4 rows from the input uh, data that are matched that means these rows should be updated 
सो गाइज वी आर गोइंग टू insert new record in our output file so here we are going to use t file output delimited control okay and saying and going to attach uh, going to link my t log 4 uh, t log row 4 component to t file output delimited because t log row 4 is for the new data and we are going to connect it in t file output delimited i have to set my file path again and that is my output file that is sales and because our file is comma delimited so i am going to check it comma delimited and check on append field also okay and now Our job is ready to execute. So you can see, uh, we are just give the uh, or more clarity on this something like that. Okay, in T file output delimited, I have choose the append and in the advanced setting, there is an option. Yeah, yeah. Okay, create the uh, okay, and now. I am going to run this job. So, guys, you can see our input file has 15 rows, and our actual destination file has 4 rows. And uh, we are going to T map. In the T map, it is uh, generating two output. Four rows for operation, eleven rows for insertion, and in T log four. Uh, we have connect our output file and a little node has been inserted okay now if i am going to re execute this job then you can see uh, our uh, output file uh, has uh, 15 rows because uh, we have inserted 11 new rows from the source file and in the t map you can see uh, 15 rows uh, are coming from the output file and uh, 15 rows is coming from the input file if i am going to look up both uh, data then we can see that uh, all the 15 rows are for operation and there is no row for the insertion so our uh, output file will not be inserted new records but uh, it is ready to update 15 rows so guys you can see in this example that i have used t log t log row 3 and t log row 4 component to show the final output which is generating through t map component and we are using t map component to check the lookup feature in talent open studio where we are getting the data from the output file that means final destination and from the source destination where we are going to check if file exists that means this record should be uh if the data is exist in the file then this record should be updated if record is not in Uh, available in the destination file that means it should be inserted and we have inserted all the data in the our destination file so guys please subscribe my channel on youtube to learn more on ssrs ssis talent open studio uh, power bi python uh sql server data warehouse data modeling data pipeline and guys we are coming with uh, a lot of videos on r and python thank you for watching us don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon